Okay, now we'll try to remove this pulley by removing the crankshaft bolt. Uh, I use 19 uh, deep socket impact bolt, impact uh, socket here, 19, that's number 19. And I put some like power handle and I tight that one there at the end so it will not uh, swing back when I try to crank it. So yeah, if you crank the engine, it will loosen this one. Yeah loosen the crankshaft bolt okay i will try to crank it put the negative back yep it's already loosened i think i'll try to remove it that's good it's already loosened i'm gonna remove the four bolt also that's around this one here I think it's 14. No, it's 12. One. Two. Four. I need to use a puller, freaking it's not friendly, it's quite stiff, <laughs> and I use a puller to remove this one. Okay guys, I already removed the cover, freaking I thought that uh, uh, this cover will uh, not remove without removing this without removing this aircon bracket but lucky uh, it's like a puzzle you're gonna pull this one going up show you this one put this one here first yep I pull this one going up and then like this one turn and then you can release it like this going out yeah because you see it, it hit here and if you are really going out here on the gap here and it will like easy to remove going there like this i going up sorry i never took a video how, how i remove it but yeah i just only pull the cover going up here yep and then it will slide going like outside going like this going up yeah that's how i remove that cover lucky lucky i thought that i'm gonna remove this aircon bracket but yeah still you can remove it without removing this that's how it looks inside and you can see the timing belt is freaking it's already like worn see there's a mark already that's the sign already that the timing belt need to be replaced and the thing it's already loose the belt's already loose tension and yeah i put already on the mark see there's a mark on this one here at the bottom in the camshaft that's the mark there yep and this one is the timing mark here at the camshaft sprocket and for the this one uh, the injection pump yeah the timing mark is there and yeah it's, you're gonna align this one here yeah and also at the bottom yeah there's the mark there on the timing mark on the camshaft ah crankshaft yep yeah that's the mark there So yeah, that's the three mark uh, that you can align so you can release this uh, tensioner there and you can remove the belt. Uh, yeah, one, two at the bottom and at the top there on the crankshaft. And yeah, the water pump is uh, straight, forward, straight forward. This one just remove all the bolts and it will pop up. But this one, the balancer, I think this one is the balancer. There's no timing mark on this one, the balancer. It's only three. One, two, three. And yeah, I'll try to remove the uh, 
timing belt now and yeah see how it goes It flies. <laughs> I'm going to remove the water pump now. Uh, the water pump bolt is six bolts and it's all the same it's all the same height and yeah this one is only for the tensioner at the bottom there the hook for the tensioner it leaves here the bottom of the water pump but all the bolts are the same six of them it's the same height okay Water pump out. This one is not a balancer. Already removed! Freaking! It's quite stubborn. This is the tools that I use. Okay. Freaking, there's a lot of brass in the bottom. Show you. Yeah, there's too, too much rust. In the crankshaft. Yeah. Freaking. That's why it ceased because of the rust. Oh, lucky. Freaking about many hours. It's already removed. And now I'm going to remove the seal inside. The oil seal. 